Hello, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I'm wearing my front of me stuff again. I did just record in this. I recorded my birch box that went up and I just had to do this because I just got Beauty Bay hauls. I'm kind of excited about this. I haven't gotten a big haul from Beauty Bay in a while. I don't know. I just kind of felt like it, you know? So we got paper, paper, paper. First of all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here and if you've been here before, welcome back. I haven't unboxed in a while. I am sleep deprived. My kitchen's almost done and my mother in law is visiting. This week is crazy. I want to do a lot of makeup this week, but I really, I just can't do a lot because my mother in law is visiting from Michigan. She got here. There's a dog falling off my couch. She got here this past Sunday and she is leaving this Saturday. And you know, I just, I know she doesn't mind. She loves my YouTube channel and everything, but I feel really rude just hiding out and like filming videos all day and doing makeup and editing. It's been a week to spend with family and all that. So that is that. But now, guess what? My husband and his mom went out to dinner. So here I am unboxing Beauty Bay! <laughs> I swear I'm so tired I was gonna take a nap and I'm like nope they're going out to dinner uh, I'm staying home with Rusty they're gonna bring me some carry out I saw some things on Beauty Bay that I was excited about trying look at this big sucker this is the summer 2021 your invited guest list box it says your invited RSVP isn't this cute made from recycled paper this is kind of a big collection that Beauty Bay put together of kind of like their choice items for summer 2021. So I'm going to take that off and here it is. I will put a link below in how much it is and all the details. Here's the box, here's the sleeve. So yeah, cute box though. Kind of looks like a shoe box. It's about that size. There's a lot in here. So we, and I also have some other things that I got that are not in here. One of them is really exciting for my YouTube friends. You'll like it. Check this out. <gasps> There are a lot of items in here. I believe this was $49.99, but don't quote me. I'll look it up and double check. First off, we have a Mitchell full-size brush, which I just thought was cute. I don't have anything by him. I There's things of his I would like to try, but they're kind of pricey, and I'm like, do I really need it? So, you know, but getting one of his brushes, I like the green, and poof. I like that this is almost like a non-slip feeling kind of thing. I love the color. I mean, you know, one of my favorite colors, obviously. This is cute. Starting out with a brush. And what do we have here? A Cash Beauty Rust Nude Lip Liner. Um, I should tell you too, the whole theme of this box was kind of like summer glowy, neutral, natural, going to weddings and things like that. I mean, I don't know. I haven't gone to any weddings, but you know, that was supposed to be the theme of this. So a lot of this is like neutral natural it's nothing real crazy i know what the palette looks like in here and but there's a lot of things to try in here so i'm kind of excited about this so rust nude lip liner so this looks like it's going to be a really nice shade shall we swatch i think we shall swatch i'm not going to put the individual msrps of all these and everything like i would with a boxy because this comes like this but if you're looking for a fun collection or maybe a gift for somebody like with a summer with a birthday in august or september this is a really nice selection they do have a list it's not a mystery box it's not a surprise they have a list of what's in here that's why i bought it this is just a brownish rust kind of shade I hope you can see okay i'm in my front room i just ran out here i don't have my lights out here anything i just wanted to get this done so that i'm not taking time away with my family but i want to get this guy up for you guys and i'm so excited to go through this honestly i just i just got it today and i'm like i need to record this because i can't wait to see what's in here I mean, I know what's in here. So this is Sample Beauty Ultra Hold Brow Gel. You know about me and brow gels by now. I have no eyebrows. That's weird. It looks white. Why does it look white? It's a white Ultra Hold waterproof formula that dries clear. Okay, we're going to try this. Whoa. I just put some on my hand. That is for sure very, very white. Look at that. That's like white, white. Oh, as I spread it out, it's clear. It has a little bit of a chemically weird smell to it. I don't know if I love that. All right, I might try. This is exactly the kind of brow gel when I was doing the Patrick Ta brow wax that I said I don't, oh my God, it's so sticky. Look at my, wait, can you see my skin? Oh, I'm not gonna like that. Ooh. No, I mean, to be fair, maybe I'll try it, but no. 
Okay, what next? Let's do this next. This is the Inglot False Lash Effect Mascara. This uh, Inglot brand, it's, I believe, are they British? <gasps> Poland? Really? I've been looking for Polish brands to try. Inglot's from, they're Polish? Yes, Inglot is P Poland. H.O. in Polonia. Inglot made in Poland. All right, I'm gonna buy some more Inglot. Now I was looking for indie makeup brands from Poland because I am part Polish. I am mostly Polish. Oh, look at the big lash on there. I'm gonna open this. This one I'm gonna open because I do want to try it and I need to open. Now that's my kind of wand. What were we talking about? This is the kind of wand I like, okay? Smells like mascara. Okay, I'm excited to try this. I am about to project pan two of my favorite mascaras. Uh, KVD and my Fenty, which I'm going to be so sad. I don't know how anything is going to live up to that Fenty mascara, but we're going to give Miss Inglot a try and see if she does. Next, MUA Makeup Academy, which is a brand, the MUA, MUA Makeup Academy is a brand that is on Beauty Bay, if you've been on there, so you've probably seen it, but this is the Blushed Liquid cream blush and watermelon. It's a liquid cream. It's add a pop of color to your cheeks with this gorgeous liquid blush. The light buildable formula is best applied with your finger. It can also be used on the lips. <gasps> okay, can't wait to try that. That's gonna be nice. I'm not gonna swatch it right now. I'm not gonna swatch everything because we're gonna do a look with this box. Probably a couple looks because there's a lot in here. Uh-oh, I think, I think I have doubles of something in here. <laughs> Smells like a giveaway. So next we have the Lip Glacé Nude Sticks, Nude 04. It's a moisturizing lip oil with a non-sticky shine infused with lip plumping peptides, hydrating shade, cocoa and avocado butters and perfect new shades. So that's kind of nice. So we are going with a natural with the cream blush and you got, I think this is gonna be really fun. I'm already, like my brain is going, I wanna see how this look turns out. There's more, lots, lots more. Ooh, this looks really neat. We got you, babe, hashtag lip gloss soda. Hey, baby doll, cutie pie, honey bunny, sweet cheek, sugar plum, pump, pump, pumpkin. Let's take care of those sweet lips of yours. It actually says this on here. This is diamond sugar. Pretty, ooh, pretty. The sun's hitting it, pretty. Sparkly, sparkly, sparkly. So pretty. Okay, we're just putting some of this on right now. I missed my lip. Uh, yeah, I love it. No, no scent to it. Interesting. You'd think with a name like soda, it would have like some candy scent to it. Expires 1222. I like that they actually put the lot date and year and they put the expiration month and year. So this doesn't expire till 12, 2022. Oh, I might use all this. We got you, babe. Hashtag, we got you, babe, lip gloss. I like this. I like that it's not a huge tube lip gloss too. That's nice. Next. Nabla. Okay, this is the thing that really sold me on this box. I wanted to try it. I mean, not that this is like, I'm going to pay 50 bucks just to get this. This is the Nabla Cereal Liner Precision Liquid Waterproof Eyeliner. And I do want to wear test some waterproof eyeliners because I am like the smudge queen. Here it is. Really cool looking little component. And there's the, wow, that makes a nice thin line. <gasps> okay. Hiya. Yeah, I like it. This is nice. And if this is really waterproof, we'll see. We'll do a wear test. Maybe we'll just do a wear test with this whole face of everything that's in here. And I'm I'm saving the palettes for last. But this literally is everything you need. Wait until you see this. So the next thing is this is the Beauty Bay brand, but this is the Oil Control Priming Mist. Kind of interested to try this. This is a shine controlling mist to prep and prime skin for flawless makeup app. I'm so used to using primers that are like the Flower Beauty one. It's kind of like a foam or the putty primers. So this is actually a mist primer. So I'm kind of curious about this. This was another thing I'm like, I'm sold, I wanna try this. Helps to reduce appearance of pores and fine lines. Lightweight mist creates a smooth canvas while keeping make bleh, while keeping makeup looking fresh for longer. Shake well before you hold 20 centimeters away from face. Hi, we're not in Europe. Uh, 20 centimeters away from face, so you know, the usual. Close your eyes, spritz in an X and a T formation over clean, cleansed skin to prime the lids. <gasps> you can use this as an eye primer. <coughs> Spray mist on the back of the hand and use a brush to pat on. It's like an all-in-one. The first prime. 
okay, I cannot wait to try this. Kind of excited. We're going to see if this stuff really works. Because if you can get one product that's a mist and have it for your eyes and it works on your eyes and your face, okay, we're going to test her out. Next, we got a BH Flower Power Four Color Blush Palette. Boogie on with Flower Power Blooming Blushes. These super fly rosy mauve tones blend seamlessly to create a just picked flush on any skin tone. Their silky matte and luster shimmer can be worn alone or layered for an extra radiance. Spread the peace and love all day long, baby. BH Cosmetics came out with this flower power collection i do have one of the shadows but this is oh look it matches really well here's the blushes i don't think i have these i know i ordered some bh flower power i'm not going to swatch these and this does have plastic over it if i do have this already which i don't think i do i will do this in a giveaway but i have to check it's really bad when i don't know what i have and this is why we're decluttering and cleaning my office next week I wanted to do it this week, but my mother-in-law was here. And I'm like, she's actually staying in my living room upstairs. Like she's kind of living in the living room for the week. And this is where I'm going to do my declutter. So yeah, come back for that. I promise it's coming. It's just house guest. <laughs> so here's the blush. But we also got this blush too. So they give you choices. I mean, you have not that this blush and this blush so you have the powder and you have this cream blush that's why i said i can do several looks with this next we have sosu premium lashes it looks like alec lightweight invisible band glue sold separately anyway so you get a set of lashes they're nice they're your basic lashes they're not too big and crazy because this is supposed to be for a natural look they actually i think suggested in the description of this box that it could all be used for like a bridal look so there's that um i may have this i don't think i have this though you know I love kimchi and this was another selling point kimchi was in here this is kimchi glow unboring highlight palette no I don't have this one I have the oh, I, do, I wanted this one and I don't have it oh my god so there's the shades on the back but this is called the unboring highlight palette glow like a queen and you know I am obsessed with the kimchi cosmetics with kimchi makeup I like this palette because it's spread like butter, smooth as silk, cinnamon glaze, golden queen flushed doll in green with envy. So you kind of, if you're traveling, you kind of have every highlighter you could possibly need in this one palette. And look at this nice big mirror. I mean, huge mirror. The green is really pretty. The green is a good summer green highlighter because... I know you're not gonna be able to see it really well with this lighting. I apologize again for the lighting, but the green is almost like a sea foam. So I'm thinking I have um, a ColourPop palette that I'm going to be doing a look with and it's very beachy and I'm thinking this is gonna be a great highlight for that. But look at these neutral, you know, the, the more natural ones. They're just, I'm just gonna do a little quick there they are my fingers. Can't do the whole hand thing and everything. Plus I just wrote Haya on a hand on my hand like a weirdo. So there's the highlight palette, which is just great because it has everything. If you're a person who wants to get into highlighter and you want a couple of crazy colors, but not too cuckoo, like that's the green. It's like a really pretty sea foam. It's not crazy. I should have, I didn't do flush doll. We will use this. I, oh, you know, I'm going to use this. I'm so excited. I do not have this one. I know I don't because I would remember this green. And it's definitely the Unboring palette. But if you don't own highlighters and you maybe want to get into highlighters, this is a really good one because it has these really basic neutrals and then it just has, you know, a few little just dipping your toe into a little bit of crazy color here. Keep in mind, you can also use these, like this red and this gold, over your lips. You can use these on your eye, around your eyes as highlighters. You could use this as a highlighter up here on the brow bone. So don't be afraid of like these crazy ones. Just start at like places where you're not gonna scare yourself or anyone else. Oh, who cares about anyone else? Lastly, we have the palette. So this was the thing I wasn't 100% sold on, but I'm being open-minded. I'm trying new things. This is the Beauty Bay 16 color palette. And this is just says nude, nude, nude. That's it. More than just the essentials, this 16 color shadow palette combines a carefully curated mix of matte and shimmer eyeshadows and cool and neutral color harmony. I do like that it's cool and neutral and not warm. So that's kind of nice. Every shade has intense pigment payoff from the smooth buttery mass of the soft brush shimmers. I don't want to say I'm afraid. Some people are afraid of colors. I'm afraid of nudes. <laughs> I'm afraid of nudes. Like, I'm not gonna do all my makeup and look like I'm wearing no makeup, but this is a very pretty nude palette. There's a shade called Illicit, and it's just a basic matte black, which is kind of cool. We'll see how that tests. I'm not gonna swatch these right now again because I wanna do looks with these, and I'm going to challenge myself to do some really cool smoky, maybe some smoky nude looks because I never do that. This is a great 
box if you're starting out in makeup and you just want to get something of everything to try in some different brands i could i highly recommend this i don't know how this formula is now i do know that i like the bh blushes i do know that i love kim she chic these are also buildable these are not going to go crate you can tell that green and the ones on my hand they're not cuckoo this is buildable inglot is a great brand so everything in this box i can almost say Yes, I think it's great. That brow gel scares me a little bit, but all brow gels do. But this is actually almost exactly like a color palette that I used to have back in the day when I worked in the salon and I used to do bridal makeup a lot. I did a lot of proms and I did a lot of bridal makeup. And this is very much the palette I would use for bridal makeup. Exactly. So this is, and then there's this little pop of kind of like a silvery sky blue in here, leaning more towards a silver a very tiny little sky blue in there, but it's mostly silver. So that's pretty. If you're gonna get one nude palette, when I do my palette declutter, I've already been giving my mother-in-law most of my nude palettes because I just, I don't wear them. This one I'm going to try and I'm kind of interested. I like the golds in here. I like the bronzes. I really like the browns, the matte browns, and I like this matte black. So this one up in the corner is almost like a teddy bear brown. That's really nice. I think I'm going to, dip my toe into doing nudes instead of crazy colors and do something more natural. And also I know a lot of you come here and I do crazy makeup looks and everybody likes when I do the really extreme transformation things. And I am going to be doing a lot of those more and more as time goes on. That's what I'm loving doing. But at the same time, I love makeup for everyone. I don't want to pigeonhole myself into, I only do natural or like, you know, Tati does all this natural. Jaclyn Hill does all this natural stuff. And then you have people, Nikki tutorials. She does just all out over the top makeup, right? So Nikki does this crazy makeup. And then you have people who do special effects makeup, which I love, but these are like really neutral naturals. So as a former makeup artist, me personally, I like somewhere between spooky, gothy, over the top, glam, I, like glam goth is what I would say I like, like glamorous gothic, like red or pink eyes with like crazy colors. That's what I love. But you know, am I going to wear that at the grocery store or wear it every day? No. I mean, I might if I feel like being crazy, but this is a lot more approachable. It's a lot more for every day, for going out, for going to weddings, or if you're in a wedding or you're a bride, this is it right here. So I do want to do a variety of makeup on my channel. So if you're here looking for just crazy or just natural, yes, <laughs> I'm going to do it all. I like all kinds of makeup because I've done all kinds of makeup my whole life. It was really funny because back when I was working in salons, I would do this gorgeous, gorgeous bridal makeup. But I was a crazy punk rock goth girl who wore, you know, big cat eyes and Susie Sue from Susie and the Banshees eye makeup and black lipstick and everything. And I had crazy color hair, like three or four colors in it. But I did this beautiful bridal natural makeup and all these really gorgeous looks that I've never had a bride that didn't almost start crying when she saw her makeup. And I'm like, please don't cry because it's perfect. And that was another thing, doing the waterproof and getting things to last on brides. So I have a lot of experience with that. Same thing with girls going to prom. I did a lot of prom makeup. Not a lot of goth, uh, over the top Nikki tutorials looking prom makeup back then. Maybe there is now, there's more girls and maybe boys going out in crazy makeup to prom. But back in the 90s, 2000s, there just wasn't. You know, it was the normies going to prom. All the normies, that's whose makeup I did. But I liked it because it was a challenge, because it was something I didn't do. So that's why this box, it's almost like a throwback. To, it reminds me so much of the kind of makeup shades and the things that I would do back in the salon, which I miss desperately. There's a part of me that's thinking about going back to work out in the field again. Stay tuned. I don't know. I'm going to give it time. I really would rather do it for you on my YouTube channel. My mother-in-law was just saying, why don't you go out and do it again? You loved it so much. And I'm like, yeah, I don't know. Once you become a hermit, do you really want to leave and go back out there? Not so much. Oh my God, I just remembered. I'm going on and on. Okay, let's go quickly through the rest. I had to try this. I was very, very... Um, disturbed and intrigued by the name cheek slime cheek slime i'm like gross um okay this is a band called freck freck beauty i believe it's new i have never heard of this before this is a leak in, a leak it's leak it's lip and cheek tint it's leak tint we have a new name we, hashtag leak tint i love the component 
Isn't this like the cutest thing ever? I love this shade. This is called Fever Dream, which is basically what I've had lately with taking care of Rusty. When I do sleep, I've been having really bizarro dreams. This says, be your own boo and give yourself the best blush job. Never heard of slime blush? No, us either. That's why Freck is bringing the world's first again. Infused with liquid plant collagen, this buildable tint blends effortlessly into your skin for a multi-dimensional wash of color across any skin tone. I think Freck is relatively new. I'm not sure. I don't know that much about them, but I was kind of fascinated by this. Whoa. Hi, Bright Coral. Okay, well, we know it's called Fever Dream. It's gonna be crazy. Okay, I kind of live, I kind of love this. Oh my God, the consistency. Oh my God, the blending. Oh my God, the blend out on this. Not patchy, blending right out. Gorgeous, feels gorgeous. Not smearing. Okay, you have to work fast with it, but now that I've blended it out, it's not moving. Oh, I can't wait to try this. I should have brought something to wipe my hands. Next in the box, I just really liked this. I thought it was cute. It's Revolution Beauty has candles. Oh! <gasps> this is heaven in a jar. This is floral and musk, cherry blossom and strawberry scented candle, and it's called Pinky Promise. It says no place like home on the side. Top notes, cherry, pineapple, banana, and strawberry. Just wait, it gets better. Heart notes, cherry blossom, rose, orange flower. Base notes, vanilla, amber, musk. I love all of these things. Pinky Promise is a floral and musk scent with notes of cherry blossom and strawberry. The sweet and delicate scented candle burns up to 48 hours hand poured. Look how cute it is. It's in like this frosted glass. I think the big thing about this was, weren't they saying that these look like Jackie Ina's candles? And they were like, mm, sus. But you know what? If they made this in a perfume, I would buy it right now. I would go online and buy it right now if this was a perfume. It's a floral musky amber. And with banana and strawberry and cherry and pineapple in it, oh my God, and orange. It's everything I love in one scent. This might end up being my new favorite. And it's cruelty free, it's vegan. Okay, new favorite candle. We're gonna burn that while we're trying to make up. And lastly, I couldn't believe this was on Beauty Bay. Immerse yourself into the sunset with the sunset projector lamp. Of course I got the blue and purple. This is a sunset lamp, official sunsetlamp.co.uk. So this is from the UK and it's called a sunset projector lamp. Now it's not huge, but you can plug it in and look, it's got like a, a crazy big like projecty thing. Okay, wait, do you want me to plug it in? I know you wanna see what it does. I wanna see what it does. I need to find a plug. Oh no. What have we learned today? We need to go on Amazon and buy an adapter for a US um uh, I can't plug this in. <laughs> Ah. Okay, people, when you order something electronic from Beauty Bay, you better get yourself over to Amazon and order an adapter. On that note, I'm gonna say goodbye because I am a fool and a half. I wanna see my sunset lamp and I can't plug it because I'm not in Great Britain. <laughs> uh. Okay, well, I'm sure it's beautiful. I'll report back. I'm here making all the mistakes so you don't do it too. So if you see this on Beauty Bay, order yourself an adapter because this is what you get. This ain't gonna work here. And there's no battery. I wish it had a USB. If it had a USB thing, it would be okay. Oh, geez, oh, I really wanted to see this. All right, well, anyway, it makes a sunset kind of thing. Go on Beauty Bay and you'll see it. So I'm gonna order an adapter right now, and when I get it, I will show this in a video, and I'm an idiot. But that's why you should subscribe to me, because I'm an idiot and I do stupid things like this, and you will learn something every time you come here. This is your, your lesson of the day. Hi from the United States, where I can't plug this in. So that's my Beauty Bay haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you're looking forward to seeing here. Please like and subscribe. Uh, please let me know if you've ever ordered anything from Europe and forgotten that you need an adapter. Am I the only one? Let me know what looks you're looking forward to see. Let me know if you're looking forward to see me testing neutrals in nude makeup. 
because I never do it. I don't look bad in it, honestly. It's just not me. I like cuckoo makeup, but I'm better actually at natural and nude makeup because that's what I did for a living and I got paid for. I did not, unfortunately, get paid to do crazy makeup. I wish I did. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching this. Thanks for laughing at me. It's okay. We're not laughing at me. We're laughing with me. From me and my new light that I can't plug in. See you in the next one. Bye. Amazon shopping search. UK to USA plug adapter. Ah! US to UK American plug. 1290. Ooh, that one's nice. US terminal plug adapter. Amazon Prime. Get it tomorrow. Add to cart. Save an extra 5% with coupon. Add to cart.